Hello my friends, uh, welcome to this market commentary with uh, Axiori and overnight uh, we had interest rate decision uh, from Australia and a statement from Reserve Bank of Australia uh, rates uh, remained unchanged and in statement we can uh, read that inflation is coming down that the labor market uh, remains strong and the economy is operating at a high level of capacity utilization Furthermore, we can uh, read that further tightening uh, depends on uh, data, uh, how risk evolve. Uh, Reserve Bank of Australia also said that some further tightening of monetary policy may be required. They also added that high rates are working to balance uh, supply and uh, demand and that they see inflation within uh, to a 3% target range in the late 2025. Uh, how uh, Australian dollar reacted on uh, this is uh, negative. We got the decline in the value of Australian dollar. I can uh, show you Australian dollar to American dollar. Of course, American dollar is very strong right now, uh, but uh, we can see that after uh, this statement, uh, the drop accelerated. Uh, currently, we are on the new uh, long term lows, uh, we are on the lowest levels since November 2022 uh, the key was uh, bounce of this uh, resistance on zero on 0 0.65 shooting star and two uh, bearish days in a row that's definitely negative also on, Amer on Australian dollar to Japanese yen we have a negative situation also a shooting star two days ago uh, drop and drop that's Friday Monday and today and the price is currently breaking the uptrend line and uh, once uh, successful once we will see a close below the black line uh, we will have a, a way open towards 92.6 marked with a yellow color now let's move to the indices uh, indices are also struggling uh, let's maybe focus on europe on uh, on the dax um, we can see that we are heading for the flat open, but flat open close <laughs> to the long term lows. Uh, so you can see that here we are on the lowest levels uh, since uh, March 2023. Uh, so what is happening here is that price creates a big wedge pattern mark with a black color, and we are currently on the lower line of the wedge. In theory, that would be a nice occasion to buy. Um, hoping for a bounce and the price aiming the upper line of the wedge but the thing is that we are so close to 38.2 Fibonacci which is not just a random Fibonacci line but also the lows from March and um, uh, tops from uh, December 2022 that we are so close to this that I think that we can get a breakout and the price can really test the orange uh, line uh, so my view on uh, indices in general and DAX in particular, um, my, my view is negative. Thanks very much for watching and I wish you all the best in your trading.